Good morning. Uh, Francesca's back to help us out and we are making a very smooth shift here um, from the body to breath. Pranayama kosha, right? We're talking about the layers of the body. It's really why we're using these eight limbs to move inward. Um, pranayama kosha is the breath, yes, but it is also dealing with our emotions because they're directly tied to the breath. Right? Some of you may already know that our breath um, is regulated and can regulate our autonomic nervous system. Um, and we all have stress <laughs> just from being human. So uh, we're going to use the breath today. I want you to think about your feelings and emotions. You don't have to think too hard about it, but just plant a little seed here in the back of your mind. Feelings are like clouds, right? We have a sensation, we have a feeling it comes and it floats away, moves through us. And then emotions are feelings plus memories, right? Past experiences. So they're a little heavier, they stick in the brain, they have a lot of associations. And so allowing the breath and sensation and all of the things to be like feelings, letting them move through you so you're not holding on to anything. And then the other piece is using breath as a bridge, right? It really is what connects us to the body as a literal sense. Muscles and organs need breath. Breath needs muscles and organs to actually function in the body, to actually breathe in and breathe out. And so we're going to start in a seated position. You can start anywhere. Maybe you're just sitting at the kitchen counter, but set up nice and tall. You want to lengthen the spine, right? Lots of muscles to coordinate the breath expanding the ribs, diaphragm is like your second heart that helps pump blood through the body. So you can close your eyes if this allows you to focus a little more, but very simply as you breathe in, feel yourself drawing in the energy. Maybe you're gathering it up, building it up or absorbing it. Pause at the top, kind of like organizing all of that energy. And then as you exhale, surrender, drop the shoulders and the jaw. Pause at the bottom, that's acceptance. Breath in. We're gonna to start to take those extra sips. So as you get to the top, sip in a little more. One more. Exhale, release. Pause. Rinse out a little more, all that sludge that's left over. Rinse out one more time, a deeper breath in. Sip, sip, and release. A little purge, a little snort, and one more breath in. Sip, sip, and release. A little more out, squeeze a little more out, and take a regular long breath in. Keep moving the breath so that you're not suffocating, you're not feeling stress from the breath. And we just want to start to take maybe a four, five, or six count on the breath in. So regular breath in to fill up, let it out, and start to breathe in. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Longer breath out, maybe just by a hair, and then taking the breath with you. You may be even moving with your eyes closed if that felt nice um, end of last week. So that as you move yourself through tabletop and find the palms underneath you, drawing that long breath in as you open towards your cow. Maybe you feel it move all the way up the front line of the body to meet the chin and exhale, begin to round, right? We're trying to really rinse all of the breath out, any stuck energies really at the extra exhale, and then cycle through one more time. It might feel good to move the hips around, stretch up the neck, all the goodies are there for you today. Get one more rounding through cat, and then with the breath, move gently back to tabletop, curling the toes, lifting your hips downward facing, and settling in back to breath. Breath in, breath out. Long breath in, sip, sip, and rinse, rinse, 
squeeze a little more out, take a big breath in, and just a big breath out. Breathe your right toes to the sky. Peeling open a three-legged dog. As you start to make your way in here, three-ish, notice how your mind shifts to feeling your way into the physical body. If you start to lose the breath, think about working your way in the same way you do this first three-legged dog. Stretch it, root it down a little, rinse it out, find all of the same space in the breath as you are the body, and then knee towards your nose. Rinse the breath out, rinse a little extra, one more rinse, step through low lunge. Nice job. Inhale those right fingers to the sky. You can mold this around yourself three-ish. You can bring the back knee down, the front knee peel out to the side wall. You're feeling your way into whatever is inviting more breath. That really is the focus today. Breath tied to movement is vinyasa. But breath first, let the movement follow. As you exhale, drop the palms, press standing legs split, and breathe here for three. Left hip heels a little lower. You want a little stretch in the right side. Exhales are dropping your head heavy, shoulders heavy. What are your inhales doing? Right? You want to put the breath to work, expanding from the inside. Your core reaching out as you fill up with breath. A little surrender as you exhale. Peel your hip open and reach those left toes. Let the breath, your mind reach all the way down the side body, maybe to a little flex of those piglets, and then exhale, release, forward fold. Longer breath in to lengthen and release to fold, all the way to standing. Just one breath as you arrive, sip a little extra at the top, sip a little more, let the ribs expand, maybe belly is inflating, exhale, breathe all the way down, Uttanasana, fold. Use the belly, rinse a little extra, squeeze a little more out, and then breathe into flat back. Lengthen the spine, and step chaturanga. Maybe you bring the knees to your mat, maybe you went straight for down dog, maybe you supplement a little cat-cow business, all the things on offer. And then downward facing dog. Left toes are reaching, peeling the hip open, maybe you bend the knee, maybe exhales are rooting through the palms, Maybe it's a day you need a little bit of grounding. Maybe your breath is becoming a little more soothing, right? We're trying to get rid of any stress. So again, inviting the exhales to be just a little bit longer than the breaths in. That's soothing for your nervous system and knee towards the nose. You're gonna rinse the breath out. Maybe give a couple of rinses. Make sure you get all that stuck energy out of the lungs and step to breathe your left fingers to the sky. Heart open, maybe throat open. What are your inhales doing? Maybe they're opening the throat. Maybe they're opening across the heart. Pay attention to what you're doing, that's all. Exhales, maybe they're squeezing around the hip joints to support more stretch. And then dropping your palms when you're ready to the front of your mat. Stepping standing leg split. Don't worry about the split part. I think they need to rename this. Drop the head. Maybe exhales are rinsing, activating the belly, working more of the hinge at the hips. Maybe the strength is getting you to breathe. It's inviting you to breathe. And so perhaps you're engaging the hamstring in that right glute and lifting the heel. But when you're ready, drop the foot. Uttanasana fold. Inhale, flat back. Lengthen the whole spine, exhale, fold. Breathe all the way to standing. Maybe gaze to follow fingers, peeling the throat open. Sip in a little extra breath as you arrive. One more sip in and exhale, release. All right, squish yourself in half. Squish out some more breath here. Rinse it all out and then deeper breath into flat back. Step chaturanga. 
knees up or down. Maybe it's a baby cobra action. What is facilitating a deeper breath in here? And then downward facing dog. This time as you pause, we're gonna step the right foot forward to a low lunge. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Pause at the top of that breath in. And exhale, lower the back knee. Squeeze the hips. Arms are gonna start to reach. We're gonna press the palms together. You can bend the elbows, by the way, if that allows you to press the shoulders down and open the heart a little further. And as you sink the hips, you want to keep squeezing the biscuits, but press the hips forward like we do with the heart in Up Dog. We're building this baby back bend. You want to think pyramid, camel, open throat, but playfully balance this space. If you feel like you're starting to cut off the breath, let yourself be honest. No one can see you. Certainly some more freedom today, perhaps. Maybe a slight tuck in the chin, but you're building longer breaths in here, three-ish. Maybe you can build towards six, seven, eight count on the breath in. Maybe you get towards seven, eight, nine as you exhale, but really breathing in as much energy as you can, filling up and rinsing out as much as you can, right? If you have asthma, for example, it's not that you can't get the breath in, but you can't expel the breath. So rinse the breath out and then curl your back toes, tuck your chin, stabilize your low back, lifting up through your warrior one. We're building the same baby back bend. So yeah, adjust the feet, wider stance, shorter stance, press the bum under, press the palms. Maybe palms are at heart. Maybe that allows you to open the throat, right? Again, you're still feeling your way through. This is Definitely breath, body, emotions. Notice what happens as you peel the throat open. Maybe you feel like you're gonna vomit or you'd like to poke me in the eye. All good things. Just notice, right? They're like clouds. They're moving right through us, just like the breath. Build two more long breaths in, extra sips at the top, extra rinse out at the bottom, and gently drop the palms, tuck the chin, High plank this time, pause in strength to press downward facing. Left foot steps, low lunge, right? Root down, inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, lower the back knee, tie the breath to the body. Inhale, reaches palms, the heart, the gaze, pressing palms. Maybe it's prayer palms behind you that facilitates more structure, more safety, allows you to roll the shoulders down and support length through the neck. As you build here, three. Using the muscles to breathe fully, right? Maybe breathe out the belly, expand the ribs, lift, see and feel all of the muscles that you're using do the same as you rinse out pelvic floor, intercostal muscles between the ribs, right? Really use the diaphragm, as I mentioned, it's called your second heart, helps pump blood through the body. And then curl the back toes, we're lifting through that warrior one. Pyramid variation, if it feels better to extend the front leg, by all means, maybe it feels better to lift the back heel, though that might make you a little more wobbly, but again, Palms press, gaze lifts on purpose because there's a lot going on in the body. You hold so much in the throat, in the shoulders, all of your front body, your organs that we tend to be protective is open, heart is open. So use those big breaths to control that autonomic nervous system of yours. Right? Normally the breath is controlled, right? We're nervous, someone scares you anxious, your breath changes. Here you're changing the breath to kind of soothe yourself and then slowly release to drop your palms. This time as you come through high plank, you can drop the knees gently to the mat and we're going to cross legs, come onto your bum and we'll set up for Supta Baddha Konasana. So as you come onto your mat, you're going to slide down, take your feet to press Knees are slowly going to open. Keep in mind, as you come all the way onto your back, 
If it feels better to do a little supine twist while you're heel, here by all means, but otherwise, come on down. Feel the support from the floor, roll the palms open to the sky, heart open, your jaws heavy, feel that space start to spread across the brow. And as you let the breath come back, a little bit of meditation. The physical body, the physical breath, regulating the mind to regulate our emotions. So feeling yourself present, maybe you just stick with the sensation of your body sinking towards the mat. Maybe that's very grounding. But breathing in gratitude, not just energy, not taking our bodies for granted, pausing at the top, organizing all of that, rinsing the breath out, deep surrender. As you pause gently at the bottom, acceptance. So cycling through a couple of times at your own pace. Breath in for gratitude, anything. The sun's out, you're breathing. Hold to organize, absorb, and surrender. Pause for that little moment of acceptance to what is. And give yourself just three more cycles of this breath. Letting the breath become a little more soothing with every cycle. Letting yourself sink a little deeper on every breath out. Still putting that breath to work. Maybe as you breathe it in the length of your spine, maybe it's swirling around in your skull. Maybe it has a color. Maybe as you exhale, it's a wash, a little rinse. Last one, because right, pranayama isn't just the breath, it's breath control. It's the control of the breath that affects the body, controls your nervous system, helps to control the emotions that we experience as you gently bring your mind first, palms to follow, just as you are, heart center, deep gratitude. Taking this little bit of stillness and peace with you as you bring those thumb knuckles to forehead center. And coming back to that inner wisdom, your intuition, without physically moving, just an internal gesture, we bow and we say, Namaste. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Be good to yourself. And anytime you feel like you've wandered, just come back to breath. That simple meditation, gratitude. Pause to absorb it, a little bit of surrender in that moment of acceptance. Sometimes that's all you need to shift gears. Love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Toodles.